And here we are, in Jade Way. Quip items in bag. And now, as you can see, he's using the longsword. It's usually good to have the strongest weapon you can equip on your adventure at any given time, at least with the way that I play. Ooh, ice traps. You can actually use these to your advantage when you're Louie, because he moves so darn slow, but the ice trap is actually good for him, because it makes you move faster. As you can see, I'm still getting ingredients, so after this, I probably won't be going to the dungeons for a little bit afterwards, so that I can farm up some merch levels, because I really hate having to farm for ingredients. Or rather, I hate getting ingredients and not knowing what to take back with me would be a more accurate statement, or at least make more sense. As you can see, the snow trap is lasting for quite a while. This is one of the few traps that you can't really tell if it affects the enemy, as most traps do, but they don't really seem to be affected by the snow. These bunnies are really, really bad with Louie, but most other characters find them like nothing at all. It's kind of funny in a way. They also appear in the third dungeon, uh, which is a nice little dungeon. And as you can see, this place is a little bit harder, but it's definitely not so hard so as to be infuriating. And that is the paralyze effect. I think there's a way to cure it preemptively, but you really just wait. And there is a cloth robe. Those, as you remember from looking in the shop, are worth quite a bit. You can really make more money just by staying in the shop, but I find that boring. So I like to do this. Plus, I want to get to the next character that we get, because to get the next character, we're going to have to go through a little bit of dungeon. Which is perfectly fine, because this is a very you know, good hobby to do anyway, because we get items. And Louie gets to level up. I really don't plan on using Louie past when we get the next character, as much as I like him, don't get me wrong. And there we go. One weird thing is it seems to load as soon as I touch the window's frame. So I'm going to start testing that, and see how that pans out. There's an insect trap, that's another ingredient. Ooh, and there's a boulder trap. As you can see, I am taking some damage, which I should probably be a little bit more careful of. Because I really don't want to die on camera. Although one interesting little detail, if you save at any point while going through the dungeon, as soon as you... If, if you lose, for example, you actually load from outside the dungeon, not having lost anything. So you can choose to just load from that, and I generally do when I'm actually playing. Some of the later dungeons can get pretty tricky, and you never know exactly what you're going to find. Ooh, common shield. Common shield is not exactly a high tier item, but it's good for this point in the game, and as you can tell, my playstyle needs all the defense it can get. So we're just going to equip that. go. Nice little boost. Let's see if we can equip the souvenir trap, too. Good little boost there, too. It's nice to get items for the character you're using. The most frustrating thing ever is when you get a whole bunch of magician staffs when you're using him. Really frustrating, to be perfectly honest. I mean, you know, if there are really good ones, like getting the club, Oh, yeah, you're going to be able to sell that and make a lot of money. It's just frustrating for the sake of going through that dungeon. And I've decided against going back and continuing to kill enemies. Though, I think this is the first place I can show off what happens if you stand around too long. Oh, a drat. I thought I hadn't gone here yet. Sorry, I'm really not trying to be redundant. But I leveled up, and that's a good thing because that means that we've increased our survivability. Then we've gotten closer to getting Louis's second ability. He only gets two abilities, but he does get two. He might get more by this patch, actually. Yeah, as soon as I touch that, enemy attack power doubled! Fun! Oh, great, that shield couldn't have come at a better time. Oh, great. Trap trap! Told you that- ow, they exist. Three fish just spiral out from the middle. Yeah. And that little announcement? Those can happen for us, too. 
In fact, those tend to happen for me more often, at least in earlier dungeons. Yay, Rusty Dagger. That's good. I mean, it's low end, but... We'll be able to sell it. Ah, more trouts. The kind of funny thing is that later on we will get a ranged character. A couple ranged characters, really. And the... They're pretty much good for everything, except for bees. They're really hard to hit bees with, at least by my experiences. Oh, and there's a bomb. Um, you can smack those around, and if they hit a wall or an enemy, they explode. And they can hurt enemies, as you can see. Because it just did. Oh, but, you know, no need to gloat. Go to the next floor. As you can see, news, XP gained has doubled. Woot! These aren't exactly the most exciting dungeons to watch, so this will probably be the last time you see it in its entirety. If I don't already trim this, I don't know what I'll do. Yet. You'll see as it occurs. And there's a bow. Yay! That'll be good to sell. The arc of his attack is really useful for getting those hits in that hit specially. Because you don't even have to really try sometimes, and you'll just manage to get it. Ah, yeah, I'm getting a lot of critical hits. Always makes me suspicious. Also, as you can tell, I'm on floor 4. Dungeons always go for 5 floors before they hit a boss or a... There's not always bosses, but there's always some kind of confrontation. Whether that's just a, a special arena of, like, nothing but slimes, ooh, sliding. There's some kind of confrontation. And die. Eh. While I don't intend to farm by just staying in an area, ooh, level up, I do, because enemies, as, you, as I've noted, will continue to respawn. I do want to get all the enemies that just occur naturally while I'm there without doing too much backtracking, because the experience is important, and we're about to fight our first boss. I can't, embarrassingly enough, I can't remember which enemy is our first boss here. The snow trap is just lasting forever. There we go. Water shrew. Ow. <sighs> yeah, I'm not going to be able to level up before the boss battle, but that's fine. The boss battle... Some people make it very laughable. Louis struggles with most things. Don't get me wrong, I really do like Louie. As a character and as a playstyle, I mean, he's awful. But unfortunately, yeah. This is not nice. So, are you ready to see the boss? Here we go. The Crown Slime, Lord of the Slimes. And that's what he does. Slimes drop down and he shrinks actually takes more damage the smaller he is. There he's still only taking like one or two. He'll shrink every time he falls. Now he's taking five. The problem is, however, if he gets too close to one of the smaller slimes, he will absorb them. Ow. And if he falls on you, he will hurt you. So you have to kill off all the small slimes so that he doesn't get a chance to regrow. Because then, ow. Obviously, the battle drags, and the longer the battle drags, the more chance he has to hurt you. And it's like the only game I've ever seen where slimes can be back attacked. This would be really embarrassing if I lose to this guy. But he has a higher radius than it looks like he would have, and he's more mobile than it looks like he would be. Ah, oh, I didn't get any item when he drops. Oh well, I'll have to farm that guy at some point, but I'll do it off camera. Before, without any further ado. Let's head out. We could continue, yeah, but we've got enough stuff to unload. Came back alive! We got a longsword, a standard lightweight longsword, perfect for novices learning the art of swordplay. Chestnut, the well-known nut, spike yourself, yeah. Water shroom, a mushroom that swells to great size on contact with water. Edible, but tasteless. Cloth robe, a durable cloth robe made for adventuring. One of the most recognizable marks of a spellcasting adventurer insect trap. This device attracts insects when lit, but the gas it emits kills them when they get close. Quite sneaky. 
slime fluid, walnut bread, <laughs> the town staple snack, walnuts, soft dough, and a bit of sugar make it perfect. Common shield, you'll see these in town all the time, as they're the standard shield for just about everyone. Uh, to do rusty dagger, a well-worn pitted dagger, still useful for practice at least. Egg toast, a calm breakfast, usually cut in half before you start eating. Uh, wooden bow, basic light bow made of wood from the forest kingdom, the essential tool of any archer. This apple is a bit telling you. Uh, souvenir charm, small village's famous souvenir charm, it may well be powerful only because of the rumors spread about it. And we're back in town! Um, if we return now, no time will pass, and no one really is out and about. We're down to zero picks! So, time to do a little bit of shop grinding. And the, whole, the one important thing, if you take nothing else from this LP and you decide to play this game, whatever the most expensive items that you have, if they're not at the front of your store, you are not playing Reseteer properly. Everything that's worth money has to be at the front of your store because people actually have more money for it, and you really want to sell off the stuff that's really good first. Just, well, you do. Trust me. You'll make more money that way. So let's see, we have a decent variety. Let's see what the store atmosphere is like. Still pretty plain, but it's sneaking a little bit towards the middle. Let's do some selling, shall we? Oh, also, let's check something. As you can see, right now, it is day three, and the payment is due on day eight. 10,000 picks. So we need to get $10,000 in five days. Better get to work. Opening the store to finish off the day. Welcome! If you need anything, just ask. Haha, <laughs> never thought I'd see one of these here. So, put it about. Eh, 110 is fair. Well, that seems about right. Okay, here's the money. Just combo. Thanks, please come again. Yay, I sold Iron Arm Band for 720 picks. Welcome! Can I help you with anything? So this is legendary. Reset! Sell this to me, please! Let's see here. 110? I guess that's a good price. Just bonus! That is when you peg it exactly what they want to pay. You get a huge bonus. The funny thing is, just pins actually add up. You hit, or near pins, but just pins don't. Welcome! Looking for something special? Haha, <laughs> never thought I'd find one of these here. So let's just test the limits without going too far. I can ask you to go in, look, alright? So as you can see, we're still making good money, but that might, might have been a little bit high. Maybe a 15%. But as you can see, we've already made one-third of our payment. And sold all that stuff, found all this stuff. Seated expectations. So, more selling. Crafter's knife. No, not souvenir charm. Super sandals. Let's see here. Doo -doo. Wooden bow. Let's make some monies! Welcome, can I help you with anything? Hehe, <laughs> been looking for one of these. And let's try... Let's try one... 109, see how you like one. Alright, that's a good price. Perfect. A nice little mirror pin there to start off my experience for the day. Yay! So, crafter's knife. There's Louie. Once again, he wants an item that he doesn't actually have any use for. I guess that's a good price. Not perfect experience, but still. Come on. Oh, hi, welcome. Ooh, you have one. I really want one of these. She wants a raincoat, so we will sell her a raincoat. I'm a good shopper, right? Thank you so much. Also, people can buy multiple things at a time, so it's not just the sheer amount of people who come into your store. That would just kind of suck. Let's be honest, it would. Let's see here. Souvenir charm. Uh, we'll hat. Old muffler. And let's switch out the clothes, since they're boring, for a leather glove. 